Hello and welcome back to Andy Plays DGV. It's a new week, it's a new Pro Tour week, so we're going to jump into round one of the Pro Tour. And let's see which courses we get today. Um, start off with this hole, which is an explorer hole for me. And because the wind, actually because the wind, we're just going to aim, put our aim point slightly to the right here. And then a full disc flex comes up short. And the wind's taken that roll off a little bit. And we can probably putt this actually if we just aim up a little bit more. And we can indeed. Is that birdie on hole one? Off we go next. Now, ah, oh, I forgot to mention this at the start of the video. I've made a change to my bag. Changed out Rudolph and I've put the Paradigm in. When I first got this as a level up during the multiplayer season, I stuck it in the bag and uh, I, I I didn't gel with the with the flight path of it to start with, and I'm still unsure about it. If I'm being completely honest, um, it seems to be quite unpredictable. Uh, sometimes I put it on a hyzer and it goes off an hyzer for some r random reason. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. It is longer than Rudolph. That is for sure. I have been getting much more distance than I was getting with Rudolph. So uh, with this, I'm just going to aim straight forward and pull straight back. Just don't hit those leaves, please. Oh, dear. That's going to take some uh, power off. I'm going to end up at the back side of the hill. Okay, so tricky upshot here. Eagle is probably out of the question now. Let's see if we can sink this. I reckon, let's go for about what would be 30 meters. Now I've left it too short. But we'll still get our birdie. Like so. Hey, last hole for this course. Uh, I can't remember the name of this course, unfortunately. Um, do we go, do we go for the green? I think we do. Not really an adverse wind, so I think I am kind of just below this tree, about halfway up the hill, and I give it just over a full disc, maybe like a disc and a half's worth of hyzer. Come just over the hill, miss those rocks, please. Yes, and we're safe, wow. Okay, heart was in my mouth for a moment then. Uh, and we should be able to get this for a birdie. I mean an eagle actually, which would be quite nice. We do. So, nice eagle putt there. So, not a bad start. And this is the harp hole. If you don't throw the harp on this hole, I don't know what you're throwing. Because this is the disc for this hole. I'm going to aim kind of over here a bit. The wind's working against us, but that's fine. And then just kind of straight back from over here. And the harp will fade around the corner. And normally leave you much closer to the basketball. Wow, this is going to have a very, very generous roll for us. To leave us right under... That's not a tap-in? Surely that's a tap-in. What? You're, you're going to make me putt this? What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to aim up anyway and throw it in. But surely that was a tap in. I was like underneath the basket. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But anyway, if you ever struggle with that hole, find a harp. Put a harp in your bag and throw the harp on that hole. Very, very rarely does it miss. Okay, so we're going to play the same basket, but from the other direction this time. I've not played this hole with the Paradigm. I used to throw the... Uh, I used to throw Rudolph in, on this hole, uh, on the, the right hand side, going hyzering around the trees. Um, but sometimes it did have a tendency to, to go long and, and would challenge the OB line. Now the paradigm is longer than the, the cloud breaker, or Rudolph. Um, 
So I'm tempted to go more straight down the middle, the left route. But I, I'm really not used to that line, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Decisions. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, what other options do we have? I could throw the Ballista Pro. There's a bit of wind, so I could throw the Light Glide. I think that's probably the safest. Or I could throw the Zeus. Let's throw the Zeus, actually. I'm just going to aim over here. Put some hyzer on it. Oh, no. oh no, I am aimed down. Let's put like a disc worth of hyzer on it. So that it'll fade round. Don't hit that. Oh, good. We missed that. And we've come around the back of it. But that's okay. We have a putt. I, you know, deliberated on that decision for a while, but I think, I think I made the right decision in the end. And we get the birdie there. Okay. We're next for um, Lost Island, I believe. Is this course or is this Pioneer Bay? I think this is actually Pioneer Bay. Not that it really matters. Okay, well, we're going to take the Paradigm. I'm going to use the same aim point as I used to with my Cloud Breaker, which is uh, just in between these two trees here where the, the, the water is. Change to forehand. And then, like, uh, just over a disc's worth of hyzer. Let's try that. And why is that not turning? That's that's actually a really, really good example of what I mean. Okay, that was over a disc's worth of hyzer on a forehand. I'm not, I suppose I am throwing, I'm hyzering into the wind, I suppose. So the wind was making it straighter. There's only a two wind, and that just flew straight, basically. Um, yeah. Kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna change to forehand, change to the warship, and uh, and just straight pull back over here. Try not to challenge the water, keep it fading away from the water. It's, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of annoyed me. Uh, okay, a little bit uphill, so I'll put a bit more juice on it. There we go, and we're in. Uh, okay. Next up, okay, this hole, take your accurate roll sapphire or other 10 speed, point just to the top right of the tree here, and, the, and then just straight pull back. Now, well, the wind's gonna push us, but we should still make it through, we do. And there we go. I have the same aim point and straight pull back in most, almost all winds of that hole. And it always ends up pretty much near the basket. What's the wind doing? Oh, do we go for the eagle? Do we go for the eagle? I think we do. The wind is in our favor. So we'll take our Ballista Pro Glide water skip. Put the bottom chevron just between this rock and this rock, just on the water here. And then give it just over two thirds of a disc of flex. I'm gonna wait for the camera guy to come back around to the left. There we go. And we're hoping to miss this rock on the left, which we do. Skip. No! <laughs> You've got to be joking me. That was perfect. That was perfect. Oh. Man. Oh. oh that hurts. That hurts. Alright. Come back this way. There we go. Well, we make a 37 meter putt for, for birdie. But we shouldn't have had to make that part. Oh, man. Ah. Okay. 
Uh, I think I'm going to throw the Explorer on this hole. Um, wind's pushing us that way, so we'll come this way. Two thirds of a disc of hyzer. And, uh, oh, aimed too far. I really thought the wind was going to push it more. Apparently not. Um, just bring it down to the left a little bit. The wind will carry it through. And there we go for our birdie. Well, a rating of 944. Still yet to break a thousand rated round, but we'll get there eventually. And only one par. Nine under. Take it. We'll take it indeed. Um, there we go. Okay. So, looks like the hot round is 12 under. Oh, there's a 13 as well. So, three, four back from the leaders on the first round. Um, and join me tomorrow where we will play round two. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.